Hey guys, Mike here from Panther Hollow Sporting Optics. Hope this video finds you well. Today we're going to talk about uh, case choice, caliber, and recoil. Um, this is a video for a gentleman up north. We talked on the phone last night for a while, so he asked me to make a video so he could uh, maybe better understand um, what I was talking about, and I thought it'd be a good video to share with you guys out there in the YouTube world. So we're going to dive right into it. Stand by. All right, guys, we have the uh, 6XC sitting here in front of us. This is 708, 6 Creedmoor, 6XC, 6GT, and 6 Arc. You may ask, why is the 708 sitting out with all of those 6 millimeter bullets? Well, I'm going to demonstrate something that, uh, that I call applied knowledge, okay? So I have owned and shot every one of these calibers. And there seems to be a little bit of a debate about six arc having less recoil than let's say, let's say six Creed. Well, let's take this guy out of the equation for right now. So would you guys agree or disagree that six arc has less recoil than six Creedmoor. Well, let's talk about that a second. This is a six millimeter barrel, okay? We could chamber this in 243, six Dasher. We could chamber this in a whole bunch of different cases, okay? The caliber is gonna be six millimeter, obviously. So would everyone agree that, that you could probably push this bullet, you know, on the top end, probably 2,800 feet a second? Okay, I would agree with that because I've done that. Would you agree that you could push this bullet at 2,800 feet a second? Absolutely you could. That's on the low end for this guy, but you can do that. So everything being the same, which these all are loaded the same, that is a 108 burger bullet. And imagine that bullet flying down the same barrel at 2,800 feet a second. Now let's think about that a second, right? Lots of seconds going on here. This, this bullet's being pushed at 2,800 feet a second, and this bullet's being pushed at 2,800 feet a second. Something's not making sense to me. And why is that? Because both of these bullets are flying down the same barrel at 2,800 feet a second, okay? So you, you get where I'm going with this? Regardless of what case that bullet's being pushed by, it's still 2,800 feet a second. So common sense says that it'd be, it'd be the same recoil, right? Well, that's true. It doesn't matter what case is pushing that bullet, okay, if everything's the same. There's a huge debate out there that six orc has less recoil than six Creedmoor. I disagree with that wholeheartedly. If those bullets are traveling the same speed, the recoil is the same, regardless of what case is pushing that bullet. So let's talk about 6GT and 6 arc. What is the advantages or disadvantages over one versus the other? 6GT has no feeding issues. 6 arc has feeding issues, or you have to buy a spacer in the mag to make it work well, okay? Why would you do that? This guy right here has a very low reloading life. That case does, okay? If you push this case hard, you're looking at three, maybe four reloads on one case, okay? I mean, if you guys wanna do that, that's fine. If you wanna shoot a little project, or uh, sorry, a little case like that and, you know, uh, burn up your brass life, that's fine. If you push it around 2,600 feet a second, the brass life is good. Um, I know that because I've done it. So let's talk about 6GT. 6GT has a better 
reloading life than six arc. Although you can get around five of you know five reloads in one of these cases if you're not pushing it too hard. About 2,900 is 29, 2950 is the max on these guys to where you're not uh, you know pooping primers and all that other stuff. Um, seeing pressure signs, a lot of that has to do with obviously your chambering, but we're just saying overall, okay. Now this this is a very good case. We use a lot of it here. Uh, I have nothing against the arc. I'm just stating facts. This is the facts of it. This is what I've seen through applied knowledge. Okay. And we're going to move over to the XC. Uh, the XC, we can push that guy around 3,000 feet a second. Um, I run this particular XC around 3,000 feet a second. Case life on this is very, very good. Uh, David Tubbs actually done a study on one piece of brass and he reloaded it 32 times. So if you're looking at components and components are hard to find and you want them to last, man, this is a good cartridge to look at. Okay, that's one of the reasons I went with it. Um, started going with it over the GT. Now the GT is still a great round. I, I absolutely love that round. But I'm just stating the facts here, okay? Now let's move to Six Creedmoor. Six Creedmoor you can push pretty hard, around 3,200 feet a second. Um, case life is about five, maybe six reloadings if you're running it that hard, and sometimes not that, okay? So all of these, like I said, are 108, 108 or 109 burgers um, and they're running down the barrel at that basically you know higher speeds because I'm able to load more powder but again back to what I was talking about recoil versus case choice if they're all running 2800 feet a second it does not matter which one of those cases is pushing that projectile because the recoil is the same Okay, so I hope this helps you, um, Jim. I I I, uh, I really I hate to keep saying guy up north, but Jim, I hope this helps you. I hope you understand kind of what more what I'm talking about. Um, I'm sure there's going to be people who disagree with me, but all I got to say is is sh prove me wrong <laughs> because I've done it, I've studied it, I've shot it. And if your recoil is more recoil, you'd have to be super recoil sensitive to even find the difference in recoil in those four cases right there. Now, let's talk about this guy. Why would 708 have more recoil than these other two sitting here, other four sitting there actually? Why, why, would, why is that? Well, it's a heavier caliber, okay? It's a seven millimeter caliber it's pushing the same or more powder as a six Creedmoor, right? Pretty dang close. You can get more powder in there. You got a bigger bullet. You've got a bigger explosion, which equals a bigger recoil, okay? That's the fact of it. It, it does recoil harder. It recoils harder because it's bigger. Now we change these bullets up and we got an 80 grain bullet versus 112, say we did that, the 112 is gonna recoil more because it's a heavier bullet. That's just how it works, guys. It's applied knowledge. So, just a quick little video, informational video, um, to maybe help you guys see and understand um, what I'm talking about. All right, guys, what do you think? Um, you know, if you want to, you can comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I think this is going to stir a little controversy. Um, I really don't know what else to say because common sense dictates that 2600 equals 2600 regardless of what case that projectile is being pushed by. It's common sense, guys. I can't find the recoil difference. Um, I don't have a graph to measure the recoil difference. So, it is what it is. Uh, if, if my chronograph is telling me 2600 on one versus 2600 on the other, and the felt recoil feels the same, then it's the same. I'm going off of applied knowledge, okay? Knowledge obtained through experience. 
Guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope it uh, gets the wheels turning in your head. And I hope this video finds you well. Whether it be the week or the weekend, I hope the Lord's blessing you in all you do. This is Mike from Panther Hollow. You have a good one. We'll see you in the next video.